Yeah, the Vulcan's pretty quick. Never mind. Ne He's dead. <laughs> Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, boys! You may have seen the last video that we did, where we drove around in our 1,908 horsepower Lamborghini Aventador. The thing was an absolute beast, but I got a lot of people telling me, Hey, you know what you really, really need to try? Here's the Lambo. For anybody who missed it, this Lambo is, is ridiculous. You should really, really try out this. The Ford Transit Super Sport Van. Now, it's not anything special when you get it. It has 198 horsepower, 300 foot-pounds of torque. I've been told you can make this van into an absolute monster. Let's get into this Ford Transit, see what we can do to it. Now, I don't know- Oh! There are engine swaps. <laughs> we can swap a V12. Why? We've also got this V6 twin turbo with 630 horsepower. I haven't seen that engine before. I don't know what engine that is. Uh, and then we've got a racing V12. I think just because, though, we need to go with the V12. This is gonna be such a strange little van. Seriously? We can make it look like a normal work van instead of like a super sport van? Okay, I'm just saying I don't think that wing would work. Look at all of the stuff in the way, and then you're telling me that wing is that effective? Nah. Change out the rear bumper as well. We want to make this thing look as normal as possible. Why don't we try to make that? Wait, are you telling me I cannot remove the stuff on the roof? So because it's a Forza edition, it gets that same tire letters that the, that the Lambo did. That's pretty dope. You can also toss on some rally tires. Do we want to give it some tire offset? Bring those tires out a bit? Oh. That actually looks pretty dope. Okay, that would probably be the one way you're able to tell this is like not a normal car. Boys, this is gonna be like the ultimate of ultimate sleeper cars. When have you seen a transit van with- wait, I didn't even see how much horsepower this thing had. All I know is it has a V12. Alright, we got a thousand one hundred- a thousand five hundred horsepower, thousand one hundred foot-pounds of torque. And basically tens across the board for everything. Well, we're gonna- we're gonna tough it out, okay? And cross our fingers that this works. This is a brand new street race for us. We need to go and bang the street races out. Might as well do it in co-op, earn some extra money, and use the ultimate sleeper car. So let's give it a go. Cross our fingers. Come on, Ben. Now the thing I'm worried about, it is slightly on- on drag tires, which will probably cause some problems going around corners coming up the middle AI move oh my god how did I not absolutely die what the hell is going on with the AI there's an AI in the forest he got on what oh I hit the fence I'm gone oh I'm gone and that's my race over I was doing so well oh there's another driver tire in the forest back there I just saw his, his dot on the map I couldn't even actually see him okay these vans are ridiculous Coming through, bro. We got places to be. People need their plumbing changed. Ow. Oh, boys, we're not even winning that badly. Our team of transits. This is team transit van. Come on. What are we doing? I will admit there is another problem. My game audio is not anywhere near loud enough, so I can't really hear my car. I know it just sounds like a V12, but still. Okay, the suspension on this is so stiff, it's not even funny. Like, when I hit the curbs, it, like, full-on slams into the ground. Is it bad, though, that I'm actually finding this, like, a really... I was about to compliment you. I need to get a lot of cars. Oh, what a dumb place to respawn me. Seriously? Oh, and now I'm shook. Now I'm shook, boys. I think Team Transit Van genuinely just lost that. Our, our so-called professional racer down in 11th place. What are you doing? We're here to prove a point that the Ford Transit is the ultimate super sleeper, super sport van. We haven't shot. Wait, we won? Don't ask me how that just happened, but we did. Last round of street scene, yeah? After this, we make the final round of eliminations, and then after that... Something big is coming. I like the sound of that. All right, I don't know what's going on with this race, but I want to give it a go. Let's give this race a go. This race is a little weird because it doesn't say it's it's new, but it also doesn't say 
anything else about it. It's a little strange. Oh, we got a package. Mailman is here. Give me a second. Last week, we announced that the AR-12 hoodies are back in the store. Now, we've got some brand new stickers. You might recognize these because these are the actual, like this, the background, is the actual wrap from my actual car. Go pick them up if you want to. I'll put a link down below. Would highly suggest you check them out because they won't last very long. Now back to Forza Horizon 4. Let's, uh, let's do this. Hopefully the mailman won't come again. A transit race? Boys, <laughs> apparently we're just trying to figure out who is the fastest transit. Here we go! What? Why do you have Drake on your fo- <laughs> What? Oh, what is going on? Today's such a weird day. Oh, everyone just died. Yo, are you wall riding up there in your transit? Oh, he's off the road. This thing is actually uh, really good. It's like, it's like a, well, I was about to say a little go-kart, but I guess it's a really big go-kart. It just grips though. Is it bad that I think this is better at turning than our Lamborghini from last episode? Yep, okay. It's a little scary, that's for sure. Because you're driving this huge transit. You don't expect it to turn and corner like it does. This is the ultimate sleeper. We've tested some pretty good ones during their during our time. I think this has to take the cake. This is unreal. Oh my god. Amazing. Oh, stop crashing into the walls. Oh, oh, I've lost. No, I'm good. <laughs> Here's the problem with the Ford Transit. It's not a car that you would normally take out to something like this. When you put it sideways, it just sort of goes. It's- it's so weird. Driving. Oh! No, no! Rewind! Rewind! Shit! Ah! <laughs> the understeer <laughs> didn't turn. Oh, what? That's a Vulcan! That's, um... Well, it turns out a... Ford Transit van. Quicker than a- Okay, maybe not quicker than a Vulcan. Yeah, the Vulcan's pretty quick! Never mind! No- He's dead. <laughs> He went zero, he went from like 200 miles an hour to zero like that. <laughs> well, maybe it turns out a Vulcan is a little bit slower than a Ford Transit. Let's go bang this out. We don't have much left to do in our street racing scene. I believe we're level nine. So let's go bang out this street racing stuff. Also, I've, I want to race some supercars. Not just one Vulcan who eats a wall, okay? Let's give it a go. What is that design, Ang? Papa Pig? <laughs> what is that? Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, lads. Try to stay on the road as much as possible. I find the camera isn't high enough for the transit. Made the... Why are you crashing into me, bro? You full on turned into me. Turn the corner. What is going on with the AI? Everybody is off the road. Team Ford Transit not doing well. It's a bad sign when I'm in front of everyone. Come on, boys. We gotta step it up a bit. I understand the Ford Transit's pretty quick. We can't be expecting me to be winning in it. Oh, watch out for them. Oh, oh it, goes, it gets messy so quickly, tree. Yo, there we go. Liam's finally in front. Yo, I got on the brakes way too late. I'm into the forest. God damn it. I pulled an AI move. That's not good. All right, we're already past the halfway point. We gotta get in front of these AI. There's more of them behind. Ugh! Got the checkpoint. Oh, didn't get the checkpoint. Oh, man. I genuinely have no idea what the hell is going on. I, I, I can't even drive properly. My driving skill from the last race to this race, it's gone down the bloody drain. Like, so quick. Where am I going? Oh, why did I, why did I take so long to react? Hey, the finish line is up here. Honestly, I don't really like these street races. I don't like how they're at night. Ugly, you know? Like, I like looking at the beauty of the game and the sunny days and the, uh, well, maybe not sunny days, but summer days and bright skies and, in the in the night it's like meh. I understand like I get the thing I'm I'm racing in secret and stuff but it's like come on I want to see the car I want to see the track Nathan says Nick that's the last time I'm using one of your two 
What's the problem with my tune? I didn't even tune it. I just gave it some upgrades. My tune's not bad. Not that bad. Let's go do a normal race, please, because that was that was hard. A race in the middle of Edinburgh, Edinburgh City Sprint. Okay, that, that should be okay. Finally, we are gonna do co-op. Everyone's invited. And any class, any car. I, lo I love they're all in supercars and hypercars. And then there's a van. And then there's a, there's a Porsche next to me and a Ferrari on the other side. Yeah, this is when we crown this thing. Probably one of the ultimate sleeper cars. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one in a van. Okay. The ultimate sleeper car versus the supercars. I am starting in dead last. Get out of my way, boys. We got places to be. Oh, I've already crashed into a GTR and a Pagani. And now we're running through the streets of Edinburgh. Whoa, there's a Lambo gun. Whoa. Someone's wing just flew off. And I'm up to fourth place. Holy crap. We're good. We're good. Can we get the 911? GT3. <laughs> you, your track day car? Nah, I brought the wrong car, bro. Should have brought a Ford Transit. Audi R8. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Cut ya. Cut ya. Okay, bro. Don't hit me. Okay, I, can't, I, I don't have the same turning ability as an R8. I, I will admit that. Okay, never mind. I do. <laughs> I'm in second place in a fourth transit. This is amazing. Guys, if you don't have the Ford Transit, go go and get it. This is absolutely amazing. This is so good. These sports editions in this game are absolutely incredible. I love how they are really like unique in this game. They're they're properly different. I love how like stable it is like it's it, it's really easy to drive around in honest sometimes with a car like this i'd be a little bit scared of taking it through corners but it just sort of goes maybe it's the v12 soundtrack it's like oh yeah i'm just driving a lambo don't worry about it i can't believe i'm beating all these hyper cars <laughs> i really can't it's not it's not even like i've beaten them by a little bit it's like they're they're barely even behind me it's way too quick. Look at that utter domination. Look at that. Ford Transit, second place. Koenigsegg, GT3 RS, McLaren, Ferrari, 918. Get out of here. Just buy a Ford Transit. What are you doing? It's the right car that everyone should be driving. 15 grand, 16 grand from that, actually. Hella good influence. 9,000 influence. Fireprof Cargo's like, so much lag, that's my excuse. What's yours? The way I want to end this is one, no, no, one, by doing a top speed test. We are in the middle of Edinburgh. I'm going to go to the highway, rip it down the highway, see what sort of top speed we can do. Then I want to go find this barn, see what's in there. Then maybe do one more thing after that. Boys, I'm just a normal worker in a van. I'm just a man with a van. There's nothing special about my van other than the, I mean, the V12. When I say please like and subscribe, we go for a roll race, okay? We got a 918, a Lambo, and a Koenigsegg, and a Ford Transit, okay? Please like and subscribe! Go! Okay, that's the crazy Lambo with 1,900 horsepower. And there goes the Koenigsegg. That probably has a hell of a lot of horsepower. But look at this! They're not running away! Okay, he's pulling. He's pulling real quick. I'm just saying, those are two of the quickest cars in the game. The fact that we can keep up with them, pretty good. Hey, there goes a Varon. <laughs> Alright, let's go find this barn, boys. We got we got this barn to go find. Yo, if I was a barn, I'm just saying, I would try to be in a wooded, camouflaged sort of area. Oh, we found a path. You know what they say about paths. Paths always lead to something. And again, they do. Hello, barn. The path strategy How is a good one. always find these things before me? I, I, it's not like I'm not looking. An MGB GT, in fact. Oh, it's no a way! a sports car made right here in Britain, is what I'm saying. Whatever they were trying to do to the engine didn't go so well, did it? <laughs> They've got the engine pulled. That's so dope. Thank you, Alex. We will, we will definitely do that. We've only got a couple barn finds left to go. We've got two over here. Okay. You know how I want to end this though? I want to I want to do another world's fastest racer. We got this. Bugatti Veyron. We got 1 minute and 50 seconds to get 
wherever it is. This is a 2011 Bugatti Veyron Supersport. Fastest production car in the world for three full years. Yours for, don't worry, we've got time. One I minute and 50 you. seconds. I mean, the client wants to see you take it up into the Highlands. Technical bends and long power straights. Yeah, I think you're gonna enjoy this. I see what this challenge is. This is another one of those challenges where if you drop your speed below 100 miles an hour, you immediately start a countdown timer that will fail you. So it's all about keeping that speed up and up. hard on the brakes. Oh, Veron stops pretty quick, honestly. Okay, we gotta get back up to 100 miles an hour. Get back to 100 miles an hour. Veron, accelerate, thank God. Okay, I, I genuinely don't know where we're going. Okay, do I just cut the corner? I'm just gonna cut the corner. I know Jack said we don't need to cut the corner, but I find it's actually easier to cut than just, just follow the line. Like, I'm just, like, this is fine. Right. Oh, no Time problem. I'm just worried. Is back. that going to be three stars? Hey, come on. Bring it back. I'll have something just as good next time. Yes. I'm thinking Mercedes.